Welcome to a video on telling the time. Lots of children ask about telling the time, so I'm making a video on it. So first of all, when you're dealing with time, you're going to be dealing with hours and minutes, all right? And the first thing I would say is get the hours sorted out first, because they are written on the clock. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. They are the hours, okay? So when you're asked the time, I would recommend you always focus in on the hour hand. It's the short hand. Go to that short hand first and get the hours sorted out first. You can see it's pointing to three. It gives you a massive clue that it's going to be something to do with three o'clock. Okay? The minutes hand is more difficult. That's the long hand. So I'm changing this to um, digital time over here with the hours first and the minutes afterwards. So the hours is three. But what about the minutes? Well, you need to know that the invisible five times table goes around the edge of the clock. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. If you know your five times table, it will help you with time. 45, 50, 55, and then it is 60 at the top, and it's also zero, because this is the start of the clock, okay? Always remember time goes around this way. You go around this way. That's how I counted round, isn't it? Clockwise, it's called. You go around that way. So you get the minutes sorted out next, but in this case... It's very easy. The long hand's pointed to zero minutes, so there are no minutes. We always have two digits, one, two, after this little colon when we're saying the digital time. So the time is three o'clock. So you have this invisible five times table around the edge because minutes are on the clock as well, but they're normally invisible. On this clock, they're invisible. Sometimes you see little marks. Let's see if I do the right amount. One, two, three, four, five, okay? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. You see clocks like this with these little marks all the way around. They will match up. You could count in ones and they'll match up with the five times table. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So you could count in ones or you could count in fives. Sometimes a mixture of both. I'm going to keep saying one thing though get your hours sorted out first. Let's go for a little bit of practice on the internet. If I type in interactive clock and press enter, interactive clock, if your parents let you do this, you could do this. I come to an interactive clock. It's the first result for me. Now, it has three hands on. This long, big green one, this short, big orange one, and this very thin, long blue one. That's the second hand, which we don't need, and on a lot of clocks, it's not even there. So I'm going to take the second hand off. There we go. Now we're just back to two hands like we're used to. Take the time off. I'm going to set a random time, see if it's useful for us. That's all right. That's all right. So I'm going to teach you now tell it, to tell the time to the minute, to the exact minute. Let me write on here. So I would always say go to the hours first. Go straight to the hour hand. It's the short hand. Get the hours sorted out first because then whatever happens, you'll be nearly right anyway. So time goes this way around, doesn't it? It goes clockwise. So you go round till you see what the hour hand has gone past. It's definitely gone past 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. It's even gone past 10, hasn't it? 10 is there. It's even gone past 10. It's gone past 10, but not 11. So the time's going to be 10 something. So you've got a good idea of the time already because you've got the hours correct. So the hours said 10. Then you have to do the minutes. That's the long hand, the green one in this case. This is harder. But remember that invisible five times table. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Well, I can't do any more in the fives. See, I'm on 30 minutes. Now I can count in ones for the rest of it. 31, 32, and that's about it. It's only really gone past 32. So the time is 10, 32. I did the hours first. When I had done that, I did the minutes. Okay, I'm going to do this a few more times. Just for practice. Let's see if this is a good time. I'll do a different one. It's pretty similar to what we just had. I'll do this one. Okay. So always, when you're asked a time, get the hours sorted. There's the hours. Let's get the hours sorted. It's gone past one, two, three. Has it gone past four? I don't think it quite has. So it's three something. You're not going to be far wrong now because you know that it's three. Something to do with three o'clock. The minutes has gone from the top. The minutes is the green one, isn't it? The long one. It's gone from the top. It's got all the way around to here. 
So that's actually a lot of minutes past three. Let's see how many by using our invisible five times table. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50 is here, up to 10, because 10 times 5 is 50, isn't it? 10 times 5 is 50. So we're on 50 minutes, but there's a few more. 51, 52, probably 53. 353. If you said 352, no, I think that's 353. Yeah, 353. Very accurate you have to be, don't you, at that point. 353 is the time. Let's do another one. Another random time. Another one. I'm getting, I'm getting the right times that I want to teach you at the moment. This one's quite good. This is quite easy in a way. So hours first. Always think hours first. It's pointing at three, isn't it? Seems to be pointing exactly at three. So three something again. What about the minutes? Well, they start at the top. You can't do any five times seven because it's hardly moved. It's literally moved one minute, hasn't it? Just one minute. So how do we write that? It's 3.01. 3.01 is the time. It's quite difficult to know sometimes that you need to put that zero in, not just 3.01, because sometimes the minutes goes up to 60. That's why you have to have that zero there when you're on a very small number of minutes. Let's do another one. You can just practice this without me loads of these times. Because you can get the answer. I'll show you this time how it tells you the answer. Anyway, hours first. There it is. Hours seems to be pointing to 12. So it's 12 something. Do your hours first. Then minutes. Now the minutes has not even gone to 5 minutes. Because you know it goes 5, 10, 15, 20. It's not gone far again. It's gone 1, 2, 3, 4. Just 4 minutes. Don't forget that it's 0, 4. 12, 0, 4. Let's get the answer. Um... I think by pressing this, no, I think by, where's the answer? I forget how you get the answer now. Here it is, 12.04. This is even more accurate than us, because it's 12.04 and um, five seconds. We're not doing the seconds at the moment. You don't need to tell the time to the second, okay? So 12.04 is fine, that's what we got, 12.04. Let's take that off while we do another one. Um, random time. Right, what have we got here? Hours first. Hours first. Always think hours first if you learn nothing else today. Five, ten. Why am I doing the fives when it's hours? One. So it's gone past one. It's gone past two. And it's not gone past three yet, has it? So it's two something. So you don't use the five times table on the hours. The hours is the easy part. We do the easy part first. The hours is the easy part. And it's written on the clock, isn't it? The hours written on there. So it's two something. Don't know why I did those dots like that. Two something. What's the minutes going to be? When well, the minute starts at the top and it's that long hand, it's gone all the way around to there. Now it's gone a long way around the minutes. So we can do our five times table. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. 35 is up to here. Cause, because five times seven is 35. Then we go 36, 37, 38, that one is. I think it's pretty much on 38, maybe a bit past it. 238. I bet when we get the answer, it's going to say 238 and a few seconds. 238 and a few seconds. We don't need to worry about the seconds. So we told another time. Let's put that off and do another random time. I won't talk quite as fast this time. I'll let you have a go. This one's okay. So hours first. What has this hand gone past? What's it gone past? Hopefully you said it's gone past one. It hasn't gone past two yet. And the minutes, do your five times table round and it will work exactly on the five times table now. So can you get it before me? Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. One thirty-five is the time. So this is turning the time to the exact minute. I've not talked about quarter past, half past, quarter two in this video maybe another time but this is telling the time to the exact minute which is the hardest really for most people let's do another another random time well that's pretty easy um, let's say that one is two o'clock isn't it two on the hours no minutes two o'clock and do another one i want to get to a hard the hardest that you see this this one's quite a good example. So hours first, as I always say, hours first. 
What's it gone past? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Has it gone past ten? Is it on ten? It looks like it's pointing to ten, or maybe a tiny bit before. And these ones can be a little bit tricky. So I think, is it, you might not be sure if it's ten or if it's still nine. Okay, you might not be sure. This happens when the minute hand is, has nearly reached the top again. So when the minute hand has nearly gone all the way round, you can't be quite sure if it's nine or ten. It actually is going to be nine something, but it's nine fifty something, so it's very near to ten. That's why the orange hand is almost looking like it's pointing on the ten. So these ones can be a bit tricky. Nine fifty something, I think it's going to be. So I do my fives: five, ten, fifteen, twenty. That's not very accurate. Five, ten. 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. Now I'm going to count in ones. 51, 52, 53, 54. 954. So it looked a bit like it might be 10 because a 954 is very close to 10. It's actually only six minutes away because when the minutes gets to 60, you get to the next hour, don't you? Because time's out of 60 usually. So 954, quite a tricky one. So be careful of those ones when the minute hand has nearly finished, has nearly got back to the top. Let's do one more. What's this one like? This one's fine. Hours first. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's definitely gone past the six, hasn't it? Definitely. So it's six something. And then the minutes. I'm going to do my fives. You could count the whole thing in ones if you want. But if I do my fives, five, ten, fifteen. That's fifteen. 16, 17, 18. It looks like it hasn't quite got to 19 yet. So 618. I bet this will be 618 in quite a few seconds. If you said 619, that'll be accurate enough, to be honest, on this one. 618 and something seconds. There we go, 44. But you don't have to worry about the seconds. So I would recommend you just practice loads of these times if you could get this on the internet, if your parents don't mind, or they put it on for you. Just keep practicing the time. And it reveals the result each time, doesn't it? Before I go, actually, I'll do one with the seconds hand on. The seconds hand on. Just so you're okay with that. Where's that second hand? I don't know if I know how to get it back on now. I'll just reset the whole thing. Because when you start it on, start it for the first time, the second hand is there. So let's get a random time. Put this off. Um, Second hand, you can just ignore. Just ignore the second hand. It's not on many clocks anyway. Ours has gone past the one, so it's one something. You can see it's gone past the one, not the two. And the minutes, 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, I'd say. One seventeen and a few seconds. That's what that will be. So I'd recommend you went in here and just kept practicing. Always do your hours first, and then you're going to be at least near, aren't you, if you do your hours first. So thanks for listening. Maybe we'll do some more another time.